Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I am gonna talk about the oldest name in Sweden, the most unique names in the Swedish language in Sweden. Also, these names are really common in the Swedish culture and also in Scandinavian countries such as Norway, Denmark, also Iceland, Greenland, Faroe Islands. So yeah. These are the names I've never, never, ever heard before in my entire life since I moved to Sweden. Maybe I've heard uh, when watching Vikings, <laughs> but these names are really, really unique to me and really, also really common in, you know, um, Icelandic saga. Um, I heard and I read about it and yeah, I just want to uh, show you guys these names. I divide this section in male names and female names. So yeah, let's start with the male name. So the first, the first name that I think was the weirdest one, the one that I never ever heard before is Jerker or Jerker. I don't know how to pronounce it well. Um, Jerker is actually a furniture uh, in IKEA over here, but this is a word that I've never heard before. This name is a male name. Um, it's actually I have my notes over here because otherwise I don't remember. Um, but it comes from like all the Norse uh, means uh, that means king forever. Um, and yeah, it is actually IKEA's furniture name, Jerker. And it's a name that is definitely really unique and really, really uh, funny to me and it sounds pretty insane. Yeah, I don't know if I would choose this name to name my, I don't know, baby, my kid. But yeah, it's really, really funny and unique name. Another name that I think is really unique <laughs> And really, um, yeah, really unique name is Ulle or Ulle, yeah, Ulle. Um, it's actually a Swedish diminutive of Ulf. Ulf is a name like Ulf Palme. Uh, it's actually um, a minister that was uh, killed um, here in Sweden. And there's actually here in Stockholm a street, Ulf Palme. So, um, Ulf, I have heard, but Ule, I never heard before, and I think it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty cute name. Um, yeah, I like it, but it's definitely a name that I never heard before, for sure, before moving to Sweden. So, yeah. You guys, the third name, I don't know if it's a male or female, I did my research, but it, it wasn't really clear, but it's Tintin. Um, so I actually said male, female, I don't know, you let me know, Swedish community, please. But um, actually the meaning of Tintin means uh, from the iron giant, which really curious. Actually, I would never ever say that Tintin would be just a common name here in Sweden uh, to name someone, male or female, but it's really fun and really yeah, pretty nice, funny name. I think I like it, but it's really, really unique to me. I know Tintin as a comic, but uh, nothing else. Actually, I've never heard before. So yeah. <laughs> okay, um, another name that is pretty unique to me, and I never, never uh, would say that this would be a name of a male, is Dick. <laughs> um, it's a Swedish name um, that is earliest documented, uh, it's documented uh, usage is 1866. So yeah, it's also a name that I would never say this would be a male name, but it's uh, fun. I think it's fine to um, choose this name for a male. Um, but I think I would never choose this name for someone, I would never name someone from my family Dick. 
actually so yeah okay the last male name that i've never ever heard before before moving to sweden is ebbe a b b e no e b b e yes e b b e um it's really used in the nordic countries and there is um similar name to female which is ebba so e b b a so it's also really really unique name for male and female i've never heard before and i think it's pretty cool so yeah, it's really Scandinavian, it's really Scandi and I actually read um, that it's really common in Scandinavian countries so yeah, I would definitely probably choose this name for my baby kiddos Let's go to female names and the first name that is absolutely amazing to me and I would never ever said that this would be a real name it's Siri actually, S-I-R-I, S-I-R-I, here. So Siri, uh, short form of Sigrid. Um, and it is really, it says that it's really common in Norway. It was really common in Norway do, during 18th century. And here in Sweden, actually it's pretty common name, Siri. So I think it's so cool, like damn, how could you, name someone Siri like so cool I would definitely choose this name for my baby girl yes so yeah this was the first name okay let's go to the second name of a female in Sweden that I have never heard before moving to Sweden is Ida Ida um, it actually comes from uh, uh, ancient Germanic uh, and yeah, it's a pretty cool name, I would say. Just consisted of two vowels and one consonant. So yeah, it's pretty easy to remember. And I definitely have never heard before moving to Sweden. <laughs> okay, let's go to the third name. Um, this name is really unique. Um, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's really unique. And uh, the name is Saga. Uh, which actually is a mythology name. Um, actually, saga saga is uh, is um, actually comes from Iceland. Icelandic saga is like uh, uh, tales about Vikings or um, myth a mythology name. Um, so it actually means goddess of storytelling it says and i definitely would choose this name for someone for my baby girl saga saga it's really cool and siri i like let's jump to the next one and the next one is signe and um, i think i pronounce well let's check it out allora signe 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 Signe. Sign, signe. 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 Yeah, pretty, pretty tricky to pronounce, but yeah. Uh, it's definitely a beautiful name. All these male names, some of the all like male name and, and all this female name definitely reminds me of like Vikings and, uh, and um, some Icelandic mythology and really Scandinavian over there. Faroe Islands and you know really really long time ago. Let's go to the next one and the next one the name of a female that I never heard before moving to Sweden I underlined because definitely never heard before is Ulrika Ulrika, let's see if I pronounce well Ulrika Ulrika Ulrika. Ulrika. Ulrika comes from Germanic origin and actually um, it comes there's also a male name which is Ulrik or maybe Ulrich. Uh, it ends with A A C H. Ulrich. Ulrich. Uh, Germany. It's really common in Germany. Ulrik or Ulrich. Ulrich. Okay, FIFA. I, I, I pronounce like crap. Okay, Ulrich. 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 
Okay, girl. Okay, so Ulrika comes from Germanic, um, Germanic origins it has, and this is uh, there is also this name of for a male. Ulrich. Girl, thank you. Okay, let's jump to the last name that I have never heard before moving to Sweden. It's the last female name for me to be unique. It's Tuva. Tuva. Let's see if I pronounce well. Let me see ya. Tuva. Tuva. Okay, yeah. T O V A. Tuva. Tuva. Yes, I pronounce well. So, this is a name that I never heard before, and either it's a pretty cute name, and it actually has origins, uh, Hebrew origins. Hebrew. I think I pronounce well Hebrew. Okay, I'm so, so annoying. Hebrew, and it actually means good. So yeah, you guys, um, that was it, I think. It was really interesting to me to um, mention this name that I have never heard before, but I think every single country has this unique names that if you live in that country, you hear these names, you ne have never heard before these names. Like if you go to Spain and you hear suddenly um, Soledad name, female name, which means... Um, Sadness or loneliness? Loneliness, actually. Yeah, Soledad, loneliness. So yeah, like it's really, really like a um, unique name, right? So I guess every single country has its own unique names. Not I guess, it's actually a fact. What am I talking about? Like, so yeah, every single country has its own unique names. But I, since I live in Sweden and I come from Ukraine and also from Spain and I underline the Swedish experience and Swedish names over here that I have never heard before and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it subscribe and see you guys in the next video bye